Well, what we have here is the Penberthy injector. Um, the operation of which is uh, quite simple uh, in theory, but requires a deft hand if uh, you know you're new to it, and um, you know, but eventually it becomes second nature. Ultimately, you need to know you have three in, uh, three legs of the injector, or rather four legs of the injector. Uh, right now, we don't have this hooked up, but um, you have your steam in, your water in, and your discharge water. Is that what you call it? The discharge? Yeah. The discharge out and overflow. And overflow. Um, two things need to be uh, operated when uh, running the injector, depending upon your uh, the 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 personality of the injector. Uh, some are. Uh, easier than others, and uh, some require a little bit more finesse than others. Um, but you need to uh, ma uh, balance the water in and the steam in to find the right balance to optimize the uh, injector performance. Performance, essentially. essentially. Uh, so right now, what we're going to do is going to add a little bit to see what we're low with the uh, water. Gonna Pretty much the way I like to do it is I just like to open the water completely, make sure my discharge is open completely. It likes to, you know, spit and dribble and give me a little heads up that it knows that I'm, I'm here. So with everything open, I go ahead and give it a little steam, monitoring the uh, water level and a little bit on the uh, second eye on the uh, pressure, but somewhat less relevant. So, we're going to open this up and then it's going to develop a vacuum. It'll develop a vacuum, start injecting uh, water, we'll have an overflow and then we'll uh, react by restricting the um, water input to keep the overflow from overflowing. So, here we go. You can put this on and then react with this. There it goes. You see it's overflowing, so you just give it a little bit back, a little bit back till it stops, and then there you go. And you kind of give this the full beans, and then watch the water level rise. If this starts to spit, then you want to give it a little bit more restriction on the water. In this case, not all uh, injectors will work that way. Uh, other ones will require a reduction in the steam. This can be, um, in some cases, over-steamed, if that's, some, uh, if that's a correct uh, word. Or it's just user error and I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, that's my interpretation of how it's operating. Right now, watching the steam level, level rise, the bucket level drop. Water the, level rise. Pardon. You're doing great. Sorry. And um, what we're going to do is um, I don't want to let it start sucking on uh, air. And I'm watching some debris that's floating around in the bucket. Luckily, you got a nice strainer here and here and multiple levels of filtration. But uh, still, you want to keep it from sucking up gunk. And um, ultimately, as the water level rises, and I know that I've got it up there, I take a look at the pressure. It's a little low, getting around 60 psi, but that's okay. Low is safe. And um, ultimately, you will gain that back with a little bit more heat. And we're going to reach the bottom of the bucket, and we'll show you what happens when it starts sucking air and it'll start to complain it'll let its its anger be known any second now in three two one it's reached the filter and right about now there you go right. shut, that. shut that and if you want, you can shut this, but your check valve, it's nice and happy. Shut that just for good measure. 
This is the Pemberley. 